great victory. The king of the horse lords lies dead, his body wasted in the trees outside their capital. We have won hard fought victories against his people. My once green armies are now well blooded. And in our victory, we have taken Nisa, their most important mustering ground for all the horse lords. I have sent a message, a message covered in blood, that the northern front belongs to the armies of Seleucia. Even those who have walked these lands since birth will be beaten back and destroyed. I no longer have confidence in my army's abilities. I have certainty. And when the unruly barbarians are quashed in Nisa, I will march again. This time, there will be no escape for the people of the steppe. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our glorious Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Surrection version 0.5. Why do I keep saying Surrection? Surrectum version 0.5. I can't speak. Anyway, we shall continue with our glorious campaign. It has been going very, very well. And last episode was so fun. One of my favorite episodes of the series so far, fighting the Parthians. I think mainly because we have been fighting similar enemies for quite a while. I mean, the Ptolemies for ages. Um, so fighting someone completely different was just great, great fun up here in the deep, dark north. Um, but anyway, we could do with some Akontistai up here if that was possible. But first of all, we're going to take a bit of stock. We're going to have a look. We are on episode 15, so I think it's a good time to have a look at how we're doing uh, and what uh, we can improve on, where we're going to go from here, and we're also going to do a toggle fog of war. Always remember, guys, the chapters are down below, so if you want to skip these bits, you can do. Now, we've won 69 battles so far. Nice. And we've lost 12. We're currently second ranked, probably only behind the rebels, honestly. Military of four, that kind of makes sense. I mean, we've got a lot of garrisons, but we only have four full stacks at the minute. Which, for an empire this size, doesn't seem like that many, but it's luckily just enough to keep expanding on each of our borders. We're second territorially, only behind the rebels, so we are first. Financially, we're first, and a population of second only behind the rebels. 17th on production. I mean... It's going to be hard getting to the point where we can build in every single one of our cities. But that is the aim before we really ramp up the military, of course. But we have 130 regions now, guys. Um, so I think after we'd abandoned the few settlements at the start, we had 92 or 94 regions, something like that. So we have taken nearly uh, 40 regions, which if we we're on the vanilla game would be nearly half the map so far, which is pretty good. I've got to say. Um, in terms of our ranking, you can see we actually went down to start with on the first few turns. We are on turn 59, so not too far. We've not gone that far into the timeline. Let's go with the top five factions. I'm also going to add Egypt in there, potentially Parthia as well. Uh, anyone else who's a big enemy that we want to add? Probably not really. Yeah, no one else on there. They've got the Antigonids, Carthage, Rome, Parthia, Egypt, us. And then I'm assuming... Yeah, it's one of the... It's the Bell guy over here as well. We've just overtaken Rome, looking pretty good on the overall ranking. Carthage is also doing pretty well. Military ranking, yeah. Uh, Rome is smashing everyone. How come it says... Uh, yeah, we're fourth, but I mean, we're third on this list. Carthage... They're in second as well. The Bell guy pretty high. Parthia has gone down. Ptolemies obviously are just slowly fading away. And then what's that other one on this one? The Antigonids are not too strong militarily. Production wise, look at that spike. And then we've come back down. There's a lot of spikes on the production graph. Our territorially, we're just steadily going up and up and up. That is fantastic to see. Financially, yeah, it was steadily going up as well, which is great. And then population, we are smashing it. We're nearly at a million population, guys, 
which is pretty obscene, honestly. <laughs> a million population in this game is huge. Uh, but anyway, that is it so far. I'm going to have a look at our family tree because there is one thing that I want to do. And that, of course, is making Antiochus the third. Or do we go for Seleucos? I don't believe so. I think we go for our warlord. Antiochus the third. Another warlord. And he's pretty good. Yeah, he's he's good. He's good enough to become the factionaire. So we're going to make him the factionaire rather than Alexandros, who we had before, who was this guy. I mean, he's got a lot of influence, but nothing else. He's not been any wars. He's just been governing. And we're going to keep the tradition of making our warlords our factionaires rather than our managers and governors. Uh, now... In terms of our plan, guys, we are going to keep coming down the Nile, of course, with Antiochus. That is his whole goal in life, is to take, destroy the Ptolemies. I don't think he will do it before he dies, but he will be very, very close uh, at that point. We're going to keep on going north with this army. It's going to come across, take this, and then move north to Char uh, Karakata, destroy the Parthians once and for all. And then we are going to turn on Bactria and try to destroy them. We could potentially do with two armies up here, but it's just going to cost too much. What I might do is just have a half stack of, uh, of mercenaries up this way. Uh, and then down in the Aegean, uh, we have finally rid the Aegean of the foul influence of the Ptolemies. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this army back to Sardis for retraining. We're going to retrain it all. It's got lots of experience now, which is fantastic. Very, very good to see indeed. But it is in, in rife need of retraining. And once we've retrained those guys, I'm going to add those archers in. Hopefully, we'll get, we'll get there and we'll be able to maybe get a couple of cavalry into this army because it doesn't have much cavalry, as we can see. Not much at all. Uh, but firstly, we need the uh, Acontistae to get on the ships and come across to Naxos. So, we will do that uh, over here. And then the army of Antiochus III. Very, very nice army, honestly. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, we are going to come down to this region, Raithu, and try and take that. And then we'll probably look at taking Petra, Bostra, and Palmyra before coming north and going straight into Cappadocian lands. That is the plan anyway. Uh, and that's what we're going to do with Antiochus III. Because Anatolia needs to be secured. We don't have the whole of Anatolia just yet. And it's a little bit embarrassing. We need it, we need it all. Um, at this point... We are... How close are we to, you know, restoring Alexander's empire? Not too far away, I've got to say. The rest of the territories in the Nile, that will be that area done. Bactria, taken, that will be that area done. And then, well, yeah, we... <laughs> I mean, yeah, Greece Greece is going to be a... Greece is going to be a challenge anyway. But let's... Uh, without further ado, guys, let's toggle the fog of war. And let's see how the AI's been doing. We also want to have a look at certain places where there are settlements. I mean, down this Arabian coast. So there is one there. There's one there that we have seen. There's this one. Oh, there's one on that island. We've never... Well, we didn't see that before. So there's one on that island as well. I just don't think it's worth it coming down here. There's just not enough settlements. Not yet, anyway. Coming across this way. There are a few more over this side, I do remember. Yeah, there's a few more on that side, but it's still just not worth it. There's a few around here, actually. So when we've taken Raithu, it might be worth just coming around here and maybe taking these two? These three? These four, maybe? I don't think it'd be too hard. And on top of that, it just gives us a bit of extra territory down this coast, doesn't it? And then coming north. Uh, yeah, I don't want to come down all the way through Arabia. Not yet. It's not worth it for the amount... We do see that the um, uh, Ptolemies, if we look at their areas, they have... So they have this massive area here. And that's why this army 
keeps coming up and deciding to attack because it technically borders our, our land. So that's really going to be a priority. So we need to take this one. Yeah, is that rebel? Yeah, we've got rebel territories over there. That's good. Uh, yeah, so we need to take this one and then we'll come down and take these three or four. When we get to these, these uh, coming off to the left, that's when we, the, the queue is to go right, take that, come back, take that, take these two, and then they've only got a couple left. This one over there, that one, that one, this one as well. Wow, all the way down. And they even have like some, not there, they've got this one all the way down there. That's going to be so annoying to take. At that point, we will use this army to just clean up this area as much as possible. Uh, there isn't a huge amount of settlements, as we can see, at the moment. Uh, yeah, there isn't a huge amount, but it would be nice to just make sure we do fully destroy the Ptolemies, and then we can come into this part of Arabia, hopefully on a ship. So Ptolemies, yeah, pretty much done. We're going to take that now. Yeah, pretty much dead. In terms of everyone else, they've not been doing that much. Bactria, if we have a look at them, they've got this region. They've expanded out into the mountains over here, which is a bit annoying. Um, but that's going to be fine. But look at the amount of trade going on these roads for Bactria. It's obscene. Massive, massive amount of trade uh, going on those roads for Bactria. Parthia, I believe that is their only settlement that they have left. So we will destroy them with that. They have come all the way up here. We also have the Sarba up here. The Sarka, sorry. The Sarka. And they've expanded a little bit. And I'm thinking when we do deal with Bactria, it is worth just killing off the Sarka. Because if they get to a point where they have post-reform units, we're done for. They're going to be so strong. Um, so we will kill them off as well. Um, Nisa is a massive area, look. It's huge. It comes all the way out this way. Uh, and you've only got few rebel settlements up here. Not many. So it's not worth coming after any of the rebel settlements in this region. Definitely not. It's worth just going after Bactria, probably this rebel settlement, and then going up to kill the Sarka. In terms of our allies, the Atropatine, they're pretty status quo. They haven't expanded much. Same with Armenia. They've expanded a little bit up here into the north, and we can actually see Scythia are now going to be touching them. Uh, no, not quite. There's two rebel settlements here. So Scythia are coming down. Scythia have gone on a weird expansion path <laughs> up here into the north. Kind of randomly. Uh, expanding around the Bosporans rather than actually at the Bosporans. You can see the Bosporans are bordering them. And uh, there doesn't seem to be much fighting going on between them. Uh, the Bosporans, yeah, they have not done much at all. In fact, they look like they're struggling quite a bit. So they need to get their asses in gear, really. And start taking some of these settlements. Uh, but yeah, the Scythians are coming down. But hopefully we'll have... We'll have de dealt with Anatolia before um, they come down. Pontus is doing quite well. They've got some big armies, as you can see, looking very nice. Nice and strong. Um, the Galatians are also doing fine. They're going after these rebel settlements now. So it is about time that we start getting uh, going north with armies into Anatolia because very soon the Galatians are going to declare war on us because they're going to be boring us on multiple fronts really once they've taken these rebel settlements that's what they're going to do they're going to come and attack us so we do need to start dealing with these pesky anatolians especially the crapadocians over here as well um but yeah we need to deal with those guys they they're kind of stuck and they really haven't done much i just i'm wondering just i just don't think they can afford a big army i just don't think they can I don't think they're going to be hard to deal with at all either. So, yeah, we'll try and deal with them. So, everyone on the Anatolian Peninsula is kind of status quo at this point. Not doing too well, not doing too badly. Uh, if we look at Crete, that's where we want to go next. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's seven settlements on here. We want to take that. I'm going to rename make this the Island of Heroes, guys. This is going to become the Island of Heroes. We are going to rename these settlements after our greatest generals so we are going to have um uh, naos antiochos uh, and uh antioch naos antioch and new antioch 
on the island that's going to be named after Antiochus II. Um, and then we are going to rename uh, one after probably our, I mean, our founding father, Seleucos. We're going to call that Naos Seleucia as well, uh, although we didn't use them. And maybe, I mean, yeah, we're going to name one after Areathus. Areathus, Areath, I think Areathon. Uh, and then let's have a look at Greece, guys, because honestly, Greece is normally a bit of a mess. But honestly, right now, looking at it, let's have a look up here. God damn. Oh, go on, Pergamon. That's probably why they didn't attack us. They found this rebel settlement to attack. Um, Macedon. Yeah, the Antigonids are definitely winning over here. They are They are winning. They're going to be a big rival. But that's quite okay for us to start with. I mean, the, the route we're going to probably take is southern Greece and just go north. Rather than coming in from this way. I don't really want to fight the Thracians and come up north into this mess. So we are going to come north. Sparta has just survived. They've got two big full stacks, so they're probably not going to get killed until we come over here. But yeah, Antigonids look like they are laying down the law over in this region. I mean, a lot of them are still surviving, and probably because of the auto-resolves on these big armies. Because, of course, the AI auto-resolves all their battles. Yeah, they ain't, the AI is not going to be winning against those two full stacks st stood next to each other unless they have two and a half full stacks stood next to them, if that makes sense. So, yeah, these these nations are going to survive until we get there, I think. Epirus is doing okay. Uh, we've also got the um, RD, RDI over here that seem to be doing pretty well, honestly. They've come all the way down the coast. They've pushed Epirus back, which is great. They're doing pretty well, so they're going to be a bit of a rival. And, of course, the Antigonids are going to be, yeah, pretty strong, I'm going to say. Um, up in the north, up here, it's 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 a battle royale. <laughs> it's a battle royale looking at the minimap. Look at that. We have Tylus fighting it out with the uh, Getai up here. The Getai honestly seem to be the big losers uh, in all of this. Maybe, actually, no. Probably Tylus. Tylus, are... yeah. I going to say, probably Tylus. Yeah. Uh, but we've also got a few rebel settlements still to take. As well as the uh, Skordiski in the middle over here. But yeah, they are day. I have gone ham. Look how far they've expanded. They have done really well. And they are going to be a strong, strong threat. Now let's look at Rome. Rome is expanding. But as usual, like they, they just don't expand very much. They have such good troops early game. Unbelievable troops early game, especially the Triarii, and they just have not expanded. Poor Rome. Doesn't know what to do with itself, does it? Uh, the boy is still surviving over here, and so are the Insubres. Uh, and the boy, of course, up in this region. They don't look like they've expanded much. I think that's just status quo from the start. Uh, but the Romans have taken a few of these Alpine territories, trying to get rid of the Alpine tribes in these regions and really assert their dominance. But they're not going <clears> to... <throat> they need to start expanding into some of these clan territories. Especially the tribes in northern Italy. This is rich territory for you, Rome. Go and take it. Um, right, let's have a look at Syracuse is surviving. Syracuse is surviving. <laughs> That's mad. Syracuse doesn't normally survive too long, I don't think. And they're surviving pretty well. But look at Carthage. Carthage is doing decently. They've expanded a little bit. They had, still haven't killed off the uh, Massilii. For some reason, they hate to fight these guys. And I don't know why. Because they're really an easy enemy to fight if you're Carthage early game. Because they have nothing early game. Whereas you have stuff. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, but they haven't lost their territory in um, Iberia yet. Uh, but they are... Yeah. They're doing fine. They're still up on the uh, the top... List, but maybe a bit of complacency in the upper command of Carthage um, about their position. But then we have the Editani over here doing quite well. A bit of expansion with the Aravachi in the middle. Probably looking like the strongest Iberian power with the uh, Lusitanians over on the west coast. All of them expanding a little, and that is just going to develop into a battle royale as time goes on. 
Not as much of a battle royale as we can see up here in the north, though. We have the Arverni, of course. The Massalia are still surviving. Uh, but the Arverni have gone kind of ham. They've, they've done decently. Uh, they're probably fighting the Allobroges. Um... So, yeah, they've been doing quite well. And we also have the Adui, who have also expanded significantly from the start. But that is nothing compared to the big Bell Guy boys. Look how big their empire is now, stretching all the way down pretty much to the foothills of the Alps from Belgium. Uh, yeah, really, really far. They've expanded nearly up to Denmark in the east and all the way to, to almost Brittany in the west they are expanding really strongly and it's going to be a big battle royale with the volkai and the uh a dewey over here the volkai as well have expanded quite a bit uh, the suebi seem to be the big losers in all of this not expanded at all and the kimbri have got a few territories but are not that powerful the scordisky over here in britain oh sorry the Tr trinavantes not the scordisky um yeah, they've expanded a little bit, but not much. Now, over in the east, though, the Lugii, the Lugii, they, yeah, they've expanded a lot as well. So I think it's going to be a big battle royale between them and Belgai as we go on. Other small factions, Kyrene still exists. I just hope they don't attack us. Um, yeah, Kyrene still exists. But that's about it, really. There's not much else to say. Most factions still exist, but that makes sense, doesn't it? So let's toggle that Fog of War back off, guys. And I think we're at the end turn stage. So let us end the turn and let's see what happens. Spies moving. Yeah, spies are still moving, but I forget about them every time. There's too many of them to remember, so... Hmm. <laughs> Lovely coffee here early in the morning. And uh, we've got plenty, plenty of stuff to do. Uh, we probably will fight that uh, Ptolemaic battle on the battle map because they do have a bit of an army next to it. If it's just like one, two, three units in a city, I will auto-resolve, as I've said. Now we've got to this stage. But with a few extra units outside the city, I think we should probably fight it. So let's have a look. Have we got any civil disorder? That's the main thing. Yeah, we do. One single settlement now, though. And it is a Nasa boss. Um, I mean, I would love some roads here, but we've got to go for the 15% law, don't we? Ah. Retrain those. I think that'll take them up because they'll have a lot more uh, men in those units. We're the most advanced faction again. Good. And yeah, building a lot of different things across the empire. Great. Fantastic. Now, let's uh, first of all have a look at Nisa. See what we can do. Like, can we leave? <laughs> nope, and no mercenaries available. It is... If I leave... Need someone with... Uh, yeah, I don't want to put your emis in there. I mean, you would be the best option, Salukos, because you're older as well. Yeah, it's just not... Hmm. I need those archers against Parthia, honestly. Yeah, it's just, it's just not going to happen yet. we just got to sit here for a little bit. Keep upgrading this to make them happy. That's the main thing, is just getting upgrades in Nisa to make them happy. The sewers is going to be big. Getting those extra temples in there as well, definitely going to help. Um, and while we're doing that, we'll keep on recruiting units in this region. Um, did we not have a place where we could recruit cavalry over here? Surely it wasn't Antiochi Marginal. Ah, Bactria has just swept in. Oh my god, that is a big Parthian army. I really want to make that army into... Oh wait, we can send... If we send you guys over there, you might be able to hold it down. That is a huge Parthian army though. We've got to be wary of that. I did not realize that... I thought they just had this and that tiny little army. 
But no, it looks very much like they've got a massive army now. If we can uh, keep them trapped in there, though, that would be great. So, yeah, let's keep on recruiting. We might have enough for two armies over this region. That would be great. And how are we doing in terms of Alexandria, in terms of this army? I mean, we are pretty much ready to go. I would like those extra two units of archers. Uh, oh, yeah, we're recruiting a load of Akontistai in here. So let's send you guys down. Yep. Yep, yeah, send them down. Uh, you came across this way. Let's keep coming. And then, yeah, we've got that settlement there. These settlements, we know about these settlements somehow. We don't know about this one. So we should probably come across, follow the roads that way. To find that one. And yeah. So a couple more turns and we'll get this army moved out. And he's going to come down to Raithu. And then I think, yeah, I think we might do what we said and come and take a couple of these settlements up here. Probably just worth it. Free, free, free real estate, really, isn't it? <laughs> free real estate. Over in this region, we need... Probably not you. I'm probably going to send you to Sardis, in fact. Need you there. Let's get here. And then I want you to get into there. So we actually have a garrison in Kos. Uh, then, yeah. <sighs> Can't make it. Uh, I know if I if I move them, they will just get killed. So, yeah. Can't make it, unfortunately. Right then. Uh, that's everyone moved, right? I think so. Uh, apart from our battle, of course. Let's have a look what they have. I mean, he doesn't have much. He's got mercenary Nubian spearmen, cavalry, Akantistai. Let's let's fight it. Let's have a battle. I mean, it's it's going to be an easy battle, but let's have it nonetheless, just for a bit of fun. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the glorious battle map. Here we are. Today is a green day in the sight of the gods. They do not rejoice. Oh, we're on the other side of a mountain. <laughs> I love the detail on that. Awesome. Uh, right. We're on a mountain. Look at this mountain. It's huge. Hello, city. <laughs> Look at this, though. This is awesome. This is cool. Uh, right. Let us ram down the walls of this darn place. I'm thinking they will probably... We've got so many rams. <laughs> They'll probably do the same thing that they did last time and just try and come around the city. Uh, they'll probably just do what they did last time and just come around and try and fight us around rather than going into the city. There's literally one guy in there. Um, I don't know where those men are coming for, from. Probably on this side. We might not see them for a little while because of the mountains. We might have to go around them. Because the battle map actually extends all the way around here. So if they spawn in here, I don't know how they get over this. <laughs> and we aren't going to be able to see them either. And we're going to do the same tactic we did last time. We're going to get the Chalka Speeders in there and just squish. Just squish. Squish the enemy into oblivion. And uh, let's speed it up. It's good to be back on these battle maps. I love it. Got some good experience in this army now as well. Very nice. Some silver. Really makes a big difference. If we look at them versus them. So if we look at them. Versus, say, oh. Well, thank you. Versus, say, uh, those guys. Look at the difference on that. The morale, everything. Oh, no, we're on the uh, Chalka Speeders now. 
So if I see... Okay, here comes uh, one of their units. Let's, uh... What is it? Nubian cavalry. Ah, well. You guys get in. I mean, I might just take the city. Uh, and, yeah. If we all... If we all just come into the city... It'll be fine. And what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to get these guys... They're probably getting a bit of damage now. To just block off these little entrances. we got you guys. I think we'll use you to block off over here. Yeah, they are taking some damage. I'm not too bothered by that. Get the cavalry over this way. Now, let's speed it up again. There's not really any way we're going to be able to fight those Nubians. Unless we... I don't think they'll be able to fire over that wall. We should probably come in close here. I think just come over that way. It'll force the Nubians into the city. Right, Chalka Speeders. I want you guys to just run through. And then we can uh, squishy squish. You guys come there. Some nice big blocks of Chalka Speeders in this region, isn't there? No, yeah, no. They're not gonna they're not gonna have that, are they? They ain't having it. Okay, here they uh, come. They did have to fight their way over the mountain. <laughs> so. Yeah, the Nubians are going to be annoying, but... Oh, well. Are you guys firing yet or not? No, it doesn't look like it. Just come up there then. Right. Let's squish. Squish time. Get you in there. You guys get there. And we shall squish this unit. I think it's this to four. Ideally, I really don't want to take damage with my cavalry. The worst people to take damage. Because they're the hardest to retrain. Right. Let's speed it up again. Oh. You halt. Go, 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 go. Quick. Walk. Squish time. Sandwich. Come on. To advance, my boys. Do that. See whether they... Uh... Yeah, there we are. That's better. Actually know what to do for a second. The Nubians don't know what to do now. Okay, if that general comes in, we're going to kill him. He's isolated. He's just come inside and isolated himself. An imbecile. Ooh, this might be a bit dodgy, though. He's going to charge our men in the back. So we need to somehow get through. They're still on the town square, I believe. Just turn around. Just turn around for one second. Now halt. These guys are really struggling with which way they need to go. Now fight them. There's not many of the Hoplites left, so I think this general's bodyguard is more important. Let's go. Come on. Not the finest maneuvering I've ever done, honestly. <laughs> But one Chalka Speed is taking a bit of damage is not too much of a problem. Bit annoying that the Zistaforo took so much damage, though. I don't know why these guys are coming all the way around this way. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, we killed the general. Come on. That's another Ptolemaic family member dead. Surely. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. There we are. Right, cavalry. Time 
I think we just go stand in there again. Everyone else, fight these guys. Fight these guys. Fight these guys. There's only 15 of them left. Uh, I mean, I think we come over here, don't we? You guys get there. Speed it up. We don't need it to be on slow speed, do we? Come on, you should be able to start firing. Ugh, they're going past as well. What are they doing? I mean, I'm honestly not bothered about fighting these guys. I think we'll just wait out the timer. They're just being stupid. And I don't want to lose men just to the, the horse archers for no reason. I wish there was a way of uh, securing these types of towers in uh, in this game. I mean, they're not even going through that gate. Anyway, they're going all the way around to this gate when they could have just come through there. I, I don't understand. Well, now they're just standing there. <laughs> okay. Well done. Well done, uh, Bolon. Great tactics. They've still got 284 men, but... Yeah, it's not going to be... It's not going to be a worry without their general. Anyway, we'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And of course, again, we are going to enslave. It is only a large town. The native culture here is Libyan. Um, I think we go straight for Rhodes. It is Greek, though. That's fantastic. That is good. What? Uh, they don't actually have a temple here. Of course, we're going to get rid of Ptolemaic recruitment. Still got that army. I think we destroy it. And they stood and fought. I, I don't know why. Yeah, there we are. That was a bit quicker than waiting and fighting them in the city, especially when they didn't know what to do. Right. So we've done that. We've done up Nisa. We've done up this region. Now, have we done this region? Let's just check. Lose track of where we are, don't we? Right. Let's, uh, let's build. And... Let's come to the main region. Make sure we're building everywhere around here. Let's go. I wonder how much that was going to bring in in terms of cash. It says it's not going to bring in anything. But I don't think that... I always don't think that's right because it adds three more trade routes. So I think it will make money. It just doesn't show them because they're not actually, you know, added yet. I think, anyway. Let's uh, build over here. We've not built over here for a while. Um, build the crop rotation and then sewers. Sewers for a bit of public order and population growth. Sewers are actually a fantastic building. That building chain is great. Public health and uh, public order as well as population growth is a really, really potent combination. Look at that from that trade spice road. wonder how much that would bring. That's another 300 from that as well. Wow, that is good. Let's have a look over this region. Um, I don't really want the paved roads. Let's go for the crop rotation and then sewers again over in this region. Nicophoron, I wonder how much that will bring in. 33, definitely not worth it right now. So we'll build a trader. It's a little bit cheaper. And then here, let's build the stables for that law unless... No, it doesn't provide anything. Uh, let's go for the sewers. And then Deliche will build some of that. Yeah, we've got we've not even got land clearances in a lot of these places over this region. How much does a river ports bring in? 235 in Baroya. That is fantastic. Antioch, let's... I mean, it's going to upgrade soon, but let's just build that one. We've got Seleucia Pereria. I think we'll go for the shipwright. I know it's expensive, but... In fact, no. Let's skip that out and go for the trader. Uh, then Ladokia. Go for the sewers. Apamea. Build the uh, farming. Uh, how much money have we got left? I think we can go for the market. And then we'll go for the sewers at Ladokia. Sorry, the farming at Ladokia Libanos. In fact, no. Does it... I keep thinking the trader gives you some bonus of lore or something. Let's just get these so that we get our 
Oh, no. I've been being dumb, haven't I? Ah. Oh, that's so dumb of me. It removes the happiness and gives law. So by building the military buildings, I'm not actually improving the uh, public order at all. I thought... I just assumed... I didn't even look at the bottom one. I just assumed that that was tax income. Probably from the previous build of the mod, and I don't know why. That is just stupid of me. But anyway, anyway, we'll continue building as much as we can over in this region. Seedon, is there anything we want to build here? I mean, execution squares are fantastic. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at the corruption here. God damn it, that is a huge amount of corruption. Um, but yeah, that's everything, isn't it? That is everything. So. How many more turns? Two more. Let's end the turn again. Get our spy going down. Yeah, that, I mean, you can stay there. That big Parthian army does scare me. Quite a bit. Do not like the look of it at all. Right for a space. Ah. Yes. There it is. <laughs> uh, run away. I mean... I mean, looking at this army, again, it's a lot of infantry. It's a lot of infantry. I'm going to do that because I think if I played that battle, we would not survive it. I think we'd be fully destroyed. So, yeah, auto-resolving that I think was a better solution so we can still retreat to Nisa as we need to. I mean, yep, you can become my protectorate. It doesn't normally end very well with the protectorate. They always seem to want to break it straight away. So remember that you offered me that, Kyrene, okay? You offered me that. <laughs> Not anyone else, you. So please remember that next time you try and offer to run away from us. Okay, yep, we got Kyrene. We've got rioting in Heropolis. Fuck off, Heropolis. I, I hate you. I'm going to cancel that because it doesn't actually make a difference. Heropolis is an absolute bastard. Look at that. Why are they such bastards in Heropolis? Fuck off. Everyone around there is, like, nice and happy. And those guys are not. We really need it to upgrade. Surprised it hasn't, honestly, yet. A lot of these regions are just not upgrading very fast. That is probably because we've not been able to build the right buildings there yet. Now, we only have 30,000 now because, obviously, we did a lot of building of the big ones. Get rid of the uh, of that. And, yeah, you can go back to Sardis. Are we still recruiting archers? Let's keep on recruiting archers. And I think a couple of uh, Chalka Speeders in there. You need to get these guys off the boats. Get you guys to the port. You get in there. Uh, we don't want you. We want you. Please tell me we can get all the way back. Or at least to a port. Ah. <sighs> I honestly think the best way to go is back to the docks here and then just across to uh, Samos. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go. Uh, but they're happy in Naxos anyway. They got mines here as well. Cool. I think you join them. We've got a bit of a better navy now. Bit of a navy. It's not a huge amount of navy, but it's a little bit. A little bit of a navy. A little bit of a navy. Um, so we are building up our troops slowly but surely uh, down over in this region. need you guys to get here as quick as possible. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm hoping this doesn't really backfire. This is famous last words now. I think they're safe. <laughs> so I'm hoping build a watchtower there, that we don't get attacked by a Ptolemaic army here and we can move there faster. 
Um, well, in fact, we'll meet there and we'll send one guy there. These guys can meet them there and then we'll have a bit more movement points. It's just a tiny bit of extra movement points, but it should be enough. Now, these guys, you need to run away. I'm gonna just going to combine those boys. Um, there we are. You get in. What? God damn it. Please tell me there are mercenaries available here. When are there more mercenaries? Give me more mercenaries. <laughs> I need them. So I wonder who has managed to take this region now. Looks like Parthia. Still saying rebel. I don't know. I just don't know. But that big Parthian army needs to be dealt with ASAP. Right, let's build in uh, some of these outer regions on the east. Let's build... We can have a ship right here as well. That mines. Yeah, let's build those large mines. I know they're so expensive. But probably going to be worth it long term. Build a trade caravan here. How much is... 97. Not quite enough. Build the large temple of Hera. And then we've got Alexandria Ariane that is building. Alexandria Susia. We're building a vineyard. I really need these places to upgrade. This is becoming a bit of a nightmare. They need to be cities. <laughs> ASAP. ASAP. Let's build that. Hecatompolos. Yeah, let's build all our population growth buildings in this region. Okay, building that there. That's getting built. You build this so we can get them up to city. Because they need to be. They really do need to be. So that we've got more access to better buildings. Large towns are just not cutting it at the minute. Really, really not. There's Andrea Medias. Uh, Coloni. Arbella. Where you are building. Uh, so through here. Edessa. I think we... Yeah, let's go for the crop rotation. All building in this region. What about Antiochai? Yeah, let's build that uh, port. And build the sewers there. A few of these have upgraded. I mean, we haven't built in uh, Anatolia for ages, but it's really the last place we want to build because it's so far away. We're just losing so much money to corruption from that. So, yeah, we've moved you. We're not moving Nisa. Moving you and... In Alexandria, one more turn. Yeah, one more turn and we'll have a full stack. Oh, no, wait. We've already got a full stack. Wait, we've got four archers. We don't need that archer. So, let's get you out. Get there and we'll add you in. Then let's sort these boys. There we are. That's better. Pretty nice army, honestly. The Prodromoi, not so great, but they have got good experience, so that's the reason why we're keeping them. Come down to there. Alexandria's plenty happy. I wonder how much money that's going to make. Yeah, 377. Nice. Uh, and then where were we building Akontistai? Oh, over here. We'll send a few Akontistai that way as well. Yeah, good, good. We are in a very nice situation over here. I'm loving it. So that is one of them. I think there's another settlement, wasn't it, down here somewhere? I don't know. We've got to find them before I actually decide to go that re that way. Can we build a ship? Yeah, we'll build a ship actually here. And we'll sail down to Raithu. Go to there. We'll build a ship. Sail down to Raithu. Be a lot quicker. Then we can sail back up if we want to. Uh, everywhere else, I think we're doing fine. Are you trading? Why are you not trading? Yeah. I just, yeah, there's not enough, uh, ports in here. This one's not trading either. Surely you two can trade together. If the, there's no other trade routes available, maybe we need to upgrade some of these ports. 
I think we do. Yep. Right. I think that's the end of this turn again. So let us get that done. Oh, we're crunching through a few turns here again. Is that... Uh, we've had to kind of slow down on that expansion a little bit, haven't we? Uh, right. Ptolemies have decided to blockade that fleet. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Ptolemies. God, I hate them. God damn Ptolemies. Everywhere you go. They are just here. To bloody... Ah, just... Ah. Just put in a bit of a blockade. Okay, Antioch has expanded. Great. Let's uh, upgrade that. Couple of faction announcements. No rioting this turn, so that is great. How did we get that? We got that at Sardis. Good. Um, I think it's more important to get those four Zista Foroi in there. Uh, what is that navy looking like? Well, firstly... Wait. Why can you... Can you guys... You guys should be able to get off the boats there. We're in the port. We're in the bloody port. He's got a queen cream, though. Couple more. Let's make sure that we uh, remember to recruit the ship over here. And, yep. Yeah. Right. You... Go into there. The rest of you. We shall come as, f uh, as far as we can. You join them. And then we'll come back across. Uh, we'll go for Hermupolis first. You come down this region. There it is. That's where the settlement is. So we need to do take... Do need to take that at some point quite quickly. Because it's bordering all our settlements up this region, down the Nile. And they can just go and attack any of them. So where is this second settlement that was down here? I just can't remember. I cannot remember. That's the problem with a new map, isn't it? Or going to an area of the map that you've never been before. Right, Nisa. Are you ready to be done with yet? 16%, 36%, 41%. That's not going to be enough. I mean, one of these guys will probably do it. But those archers are so useful against Parthia. I think we've still got to wait. I think we've got to wait a couple more turns. Maybe another couple to get this uh, the sewer done. Yeah. And uh, while we're at it, we'll keep on recruiting down here. We might even have a couple of armies at this point. While we're here, let's recruit like another five archers. Yeah, we'll probably have two armies then. That'll, that'll be good. And once those armies are done, there's all this rich land in India that would be good. Um... Good to take. There's loads of settlements in there. Right then. So Nisa's done. We can't move out of here. And I don't get it. It'll be one more turn before we can anyway. Before we can risk that battle. So I really don't want that army getting stuck though. That would be a nightmare. Yeah, that would be hellish. They've got some good navies over here. Yeah, we're recruiting Zista Foray over there. Moving those guys. Moving them. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Again, we just need to uh, build. Let's just go from the uh, level of city. So, Alexandria. Make sure we build in Alexandria, definitely. I think we'll go for the market. It's definitely going to bring in some money. Babylon. Let's go for the scriptorium. Uh, Jerusalem. Let's go for the crop rotation. Get some more money and some... Uh, population growth out of that. 
Uh, Rhodes. I think we go for the Temple of Tyke for that trade income bonus. Samos. Let's go. Samos is a large city. Wow. Uh, I think... What's this? Catapult and archery range. Okay. Great Agora is so expensive. I don't think we want to go for that. Let's go for the... Yeah, Temple of Tyke again. Then Seleucia. Let's go for Scriptorium. Uruk has just upgraded. Oh, let's go for that Spice Road. Definitely. Let's see how much money that makes. Woo! 500. Bang. That's what we like to see. Um, and then let's go for Abydos. Why have you taken me all the way down here? I don't get it. I press that. Okay. Adramition. Let's go for the mines in Adramition. Definitely. Alexandria Ariane. Let's go for the sewers. Keep them happy. And grow the population. Build the farms down in that region. And probably the Agora. I mean, it's so expensive though. Go for the public baths instead. Antiochia, uh, Migdonia, trade caravan is definitely going to be useful there. Apameo, Kibotos, trade caravan as well. Actually, no. Go for the farming and then sewers in Arcyon. Cro Crocodilion, Polis, the crocodile place. Cool. We are steadily increasing the amount of money we're making, as well as the amount of troops that we're producing. So we are in a net increase in terms of our income every turn, which is great. That is just so frustrating. But let's end the turn and see what happens. That is honestly so annoying <laughs> that they've done that. Clever by the AI. I'll grant them that. But yeah, so, so annoying. God damn AI, man. God damn AI. Ah, well. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It's fine. The Bell Guy. They are a strong boys right now. They are very strong. There is no chance we'll ever fight them in this campaign, but they are strong. <laughs> I mean, unless they just go on a rampage and rampage through the Balkans, but I, I very much doubt it. They'll have some long, hard wars ahead of them. Please tell me that that fleet has moved. And we still, we still can't move. Is that not a bug? I feel like I should be able to get these guys off the ships. Oh, wait, there they are. Why could they not move? I don't, I don't know. God's sake, bro. I'm sure I recruited another ship. All I need is one ship. One ship is all I need. <laughs> and honestly, I'm thinking about if I can get that ship, drop those guys off there and get to a port. I don't know. I need this army, please. At least it gives us time to uh, recruit our Zistafora over here. Uh, Sagalossus has expanded. Nice. Good to see. Very good to see. Uh, family tragedy. Someone's died. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, we've done a lot of building again. Right, Nisa. Tell me. Please tell me. Tell me now is the time. Now is the time. Let's go. You're kidding. 56%. Is that it? 66. I mean, that's close. I'm willing to risk it, you know. I'm willing to risk it. The rioting will kill a few people, so they'll be less unhappy. I'm willing to risk it. I think we need to go and fight. We need to go and kill that Parthian army. Or if not, if we can't kill it. Oh, it looks like Bactria has taken it now. Yeah, Bactria has taken that. So, we're going to go for Cherakata. And I don't care about walking through Bactrian lands. They can call it a transgression. I call it taking a little jaunt through their lands. Um, yeah. We, we just need to uh, keep going. 
Getting them. We're going to have enough for another army soon as well. That'll be fantastic. And I do think we need it on this front, honestly. I do think we need it. It's too much, too messy. Too much going on. Too many big armies. To really uh, just say that you don't need that second army. Wait, is that? I thought that was a rebel settlement then. Right. Straight on to the next one. Down the Nile. We are just absolutely ravaging the Ptolemies now. It is almost horrendous to see. They've got a bloody ship here as well. God, they are they are just bastards, aren't they? God damn it. And uh, you, my friend, my new faction heir, my son, my second son again. So we've gone with that tradition a couple of times now. I'm going to put you back in the port because, yeah, I don't want that to come and kill us. Um... But yeah, we do want you back again at some point. All right, there's the port for this region. Now, where is the region? <laughs> it must be all the way down here. I'm not going all the way down there. There was like... I swear there was like four in this area, though, that were close together. I can't remember, though. <laughs> it's hard to remember exactly where everything is. This kind of annoys me. That we can't see the whole of the Nile Delta. So... You go there, my friend. Gonna spend a thousand. That's for everyone who enjoys the watchtowers, okay? There you are. You have your watchtower in the Nile Delta now, so you can actually see it. Does look better. Does definitely look a lot better. Getting a load of Acontisti still. Um, I think we'll send those three on the ships. Wait, that just went down to 69% by taking them out. God damn it. <laughs> um... So we have left Nisa. I think we're going to get attacked by that Parthian army. Very, very likely. And that's going to be a big, big battle. Right then. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything else because we can't move anyone else. God damn it. Right, let's uh, let's go through our buildings again. And let's go from the... Let's go from the bottom this time. We only have one town left. Is that it? Really? Wow. They've probably had no upgrades at all. Sewers again in some of these places. Sewers and farming. We're going to go for some of these smaller places, of course. Uh, Akrabai, you're nearly ready to upgrade. We'll go for our second level of Temple of Hera. Uh, Alexandria Susia. There's definitely no point in building any of those. Build a trader in Armadia. And Anazabos constantly unhappy. Let's build that road. Uh, we want roads between everywhere if we can help it. Uh, Antiochia Saros. Let's build the land clearance. It's nice and cheap as well, the land clearance. It's always good to build. Cheap and it makes you money. So like, if we build that communal farming, 1,200. But it makes um, exactly 120. So it's, it's 10 turns. Although, most of that money is being lost to corruption. So if it wasn't... Yeah. It would nearly 10 turns if it wasn't... Um, corruption filled. Let's build the market over here. What is going on again? Why does it keep doing that? Damn it, bro. Well, let's build the large cities anyway, then. They do make more money, so... Always better. Uh, let's keep going with the Shrine to Tyke here. That's definitely going to help. And Samos. Yeah, Samos. How much money do we make off trade? 969. Why does that not give us any extra trade income on, the, uh, on there? Maybe it's bugged. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, Damascus. Let's build that Spice Caravan. I'm just going to go down the list now. It, it's fine. Uh, we're at the point where we can just afford to build everywhere. We'll we'll try build more around Babylon, but we're at the point now where we've got enough money to just try and build as many in as many places as we can. And we are building in a lot of places right now. Um, Ephesus, Sardis. Hmm. Let's get that trader so we can get the next level of blacksmith. Because we need a market for that, don't we, if I'm not mistaken. Iconian, let's get the mines. Tarsos, 
Uh, do you know what, Tarsos? You're going to get a port, my friend. Now, let's find somewhere where we can build a temple. There we are. You're off the right guy. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> right. We've moved everyone. We moved everyone. And we are very close again to having a big spate of battles. We kind of go through phases where we have loads of battles all at once. And then we have no battles for a little bit. Then we have loads of battles all at once and then no battles. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end the turn there before we click the end turn button. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It has been fun. Uh, no huge battles, but we did have one nice little battle over in the desert over there, didn't we? Um, and we are very likely going to have a huge Parthian battle very, very soon uh, up here in the sort of tracks of land in northern well this would be central asian the central asian countries i believe we would be in where are we now we're here so we say Ar iran's probably about to there isn't it so we're probably talking so kyrgyzstan's across this side is it uzbekistan on this side Aye. and we've got yeah tajikistan kyrgyzstan Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan and I believe goes Uzbekistan UTK yeah I, I can't remember which way round it is but we're in one of the stands up here aren't we and yeah, we're not going to attack Bactria yet we want to destroy Parthia but I'm very very yeah it's very likely that Parthia will attack us along the way anyway so thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure as always. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I, it really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.